Hi, good morning, praise the Lord, it is morning time. Hi, welcome to Apostolic Ministries. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be here with you this morning as we command morning, command our day. We just give God praise for morning devotion. Amen. I'm really enjoying my morning devotion, spending time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And I'm telling you, just spending time in the presence of the Lord has delivered me from multiple trials and tribulation. Like I told you guys in my previous teachings, I have a testimony. But this testimony might have to be written in a book because there's so much to be said. But we give Abba Father the praise at this hour, this morning. And you, the listener, I hope you are also, you are also taking the time to be in his presence. Amen. There's so much that Abba Father wants to do do with us and for us amen but most of all we need to understand the covenant that we have with him we have to understand the covenant stands today as it did with father abraham isaac and jacob and now that covenant stands with me and it stands with me and my household amen so we just give jehovah god praise this morning we just praise him. We thank him. We thank him this morning as we exalt his holy name. And I'm going to read to you uh, Psalms 138. I praise you with all my heart in the presence of the mighty. I will send praises to you. I bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name for your love and for and your faithfulness for you magnified above all your name and your word on the day I called you you answered me you made me bold with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth will praise you Adonai when they hear your mouth speech so they will sing of the ways of Adonai, for great is the glory of Adonai. For though Adonai is exalted, yet he looks upon the lowly, but the haunty, the proud, he knows from afar. Though I walk in, though I walk amid trouble, you revive me. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. Adonai will fulfill his purpose purpose for me. Your loving kindness, Adonai, endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. And I have read to you the Tree of Life Version Bible. Uh, this is the Jewish Bible. And so I'm going to just read from the King James Version, uh, starting at verse 8. Oh, actually, I'm going to start at verse 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Amen. And that's the key thing right here. Abba Father will deliver you. And he has delivered you with his right hand. And we know today that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, sits on the right hand of his Father. Making intercession for us 24-7, day and night. Amen. He is constantly praying for us and we give God praise that he is continuing to do the works of his own hands. And this morning, my, my morning uh, study, I'm in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 21, and it speaks of the, the rebellion of the people and how God is bringing a sword against them. 
Amen. And how, and God speaks about divination, how the king of Babylon uses divination and consult with his idols. Amen. So we know that we have enemies. You know you have enemies, and you should know that there is someone. Maybe you don't have to know them, but someone in the kingdom of darkness, they are an agent that is assigned against your life, and they are consulting about you with divination, which is witchcraft. Amen. Should you be afraid? No. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So we have no reason to be afraid. But we must be careful how we walk during this day and every day. We must be careful of our communication. We must be careful that we don't walk in pride. We need to recognize the presence of God in our lives and be obedient to his presence. Amen. Be obedient and submissive to his will. And his will is in the New Testament. There's many things that Abba Father speaks about in the New Testament, but one of them is honoring the covenant. And Abba Father has has made covenant with us and we need to honor the covenant we doubt I love the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy mind and second unto it is that thou shalt love thy neighbor as you love thyself and this is handing all the laws of the prophets amen and I'm paraphrasing this uh, scripture but it's so important for you in this this is in the book of Matthew uh, and I don't, I don't recall what Matthew, what chapter, because I memorized that and I just want to stick to the word. I think it's Matthew 38, verse 22 to verse 23. But look it up and obey the commands. Amen. Obey his law. Now, those of you that was thinking about going into ministry, I want to say to you that before you go into ministry, I don't know why I'm saying it this morning, but I'm going to say it anyhow. Before you go into ministry, make sure you have a covenant with Jehovah God. Make sure your heart is prostate and it's right with God. Make sure you don't have any open doors in your life. Make sure you have forgiven whoever and whatever someone has done to you. Amen. You want to make sure of that in the name of Yeshua. Now we're going to get to the prayer this morning because this is why i'm on here we're going to pray that abba father will reveal to us the iniquity in our father's house and in our bloodline we're here to hold ourselves accountable with the word of god the word is going to bring cleansing in our lives amen and we must repent of any sins that we have committed so before you or whoever does this prayer search your heart right now with the spirit of god search your heart right now just give it over to god just begin to allow the spirit of the lord minister to you and trust in god that what he's doing is a new thing in your life amen father i pray now in the name of your son yeshua hamashiach I pray for your grace and your peace in our lives, Abba Father. Father, for your word is our deliverer. Your word is our sword. Amen. Your word is our salvation, our helper. Father God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit this morning, Lord, as we search our hearts, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, to search out search me god search me search my heart father god search me father god in the name of jesus amen so we give god praise this morning for psalms 139 verse 22 and verse 23 we trust you father god with your word we thank you lord that your word is our promise and we believe in your word father god we thank you father god for your word is true in the name of yeshua And for your word says in Psalms 23, Psalms 139, verse 23, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Examine me and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there be any offensive way within me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. 
Amen. Praise God. So those of you that's just searching your heart, I'm going to pray now. So we just thank God that he's forgiven you of your sins, your iniquities. But there's somebody else in our bloodline that has not repented. So, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you will forgive my ancestors, forgive my forefathers of their sins, forgive them for their rebellious ways, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. Father God, have mercy upon our souls. Forgive us of our sins, Abba Father, in the name of Yeshua. Father God, deliver us from the plots and the assignments of the enemy. Deliver us from their wicked ways, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Father God, we thank you for your son's name, for his name is mighty, and we use his name, Father God, in the name of Yeshua, for his name is our strong tower, and we run to the strong tower for for safety, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. Father God, we thank you for the power of the blood that washes and cleanses us from all our sins, in the name of Yeshua. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you are our great counselor. You are our great responder. You respond to us, Father God. You deliver us out of darkness from the plots and the assignments of the agents, these demonic agents, Father God. Father God, I thank you, Lord, as I inquire of you father god i pray lord that you will reveal to us the iniquity in our bloodline that brings sin affliction and affirmity father god you will reveal to us the affliction that tarries in our bloodline you will reveal to us the affirmity which is lingering in our lives father god in our father's house in our father's bloodline in our mother's bloodline father god you will reveal to us what is bringing the accusation in our bloodline what is the affirmity what is the poverty what is still causing our soul to be fractured what is still causing our soul to be wounded father god i thank you now in the name of yeshua that you will reveal to us father god you revealed revealed the accusation in our lives father god you will reveal what is hindering us father god what is hindering our souls to prosper father god in the name of yeshua so father god i thank you that you will reveal to us the legal accusation reveal so i'm going to pray now and i want you to re- repeat what i'm saying come in agreement with me amen father what is the legal accusation in my life that hinders me to prosper in my soul Father, what is the legal accusation in my life, in my bloodline, in my family, in my family tree that hinders me to prosper in my soul? Father, what is the legal rightful accusation in my blood, in my bloodline, in my family that hinders my soul to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus? Father, what is the accusation? What is it, Father God? I pray, Father God, that this accusation will be sorted out. What is the accusation in my life? So you begin to speak. What is the accusation? So I'm going to give you the examples like I have been before. What is the accusation? What is it that's in my ministry, in my finances, with my children? What is causing this staggering delay, hindrances, obstacles, roadblocks in my life, Father God? What is it, Father God? What is the legal accusation in my father's house? What is the legal accusation in my mother's house? Father, what is the legal accusation in my life? Father, I pray that you will reveal to whoever's praying this prayer point you will reveal it to them father in the name of Yeshua father what is the legal accusation in my bloodline in my father's house father what is the legal accusation in my life in the name of Yeshua what is the legal accusation in my mother's life in my father's life what is the legal accusation of a father in my bloodline with my brothers with my sisters come on pray speak it father what is the legal accusation that is working against me 
need, working against my health, working against my mind, working against my soul. Father, what is the legal accusation that is hindering me, hindering my soul to prosper? Father, what is the legal accusation in my bloodline? What is the illegal accusation that brings infirmity, poverty, sickness, and disease. What is it, Father God, that brings strife and division in the family, Father God, in the name of Yeshua? Father, what is the legal accusation in my father's house? What is the legal accusation in my family? What is the legal accusation in my bloodline? What is it, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua? Father God, what is the legal accusation? Reveal, Father God, to your people who is praying this prayer point. In the name of Yeshua, O Lord, in your great mercy towards me as your child, do not grant the petition of the accuser. Thank you, Father. Do not grant the petition of the accuser father god who is satan do not grant it abba father in the name of yeshua hamashiach do not grant their petition god those workers of iniquity those who uses divination against us father god father in the name of yeshua oh lord in your great mercy towards me come on pray with me O oh Lord, in your great mercy towards me as your child, do not grant the petition of the accuser. If someone is going to court, you know someone's going to the courthouse and there is an accusation against them. This is the prayer point you should be praying for that person. You must say, O oh Lord, in your great mercy towards and call out that person's name. Call them out. You know, I remember years ago when my son Matthew went to court and I had prayed Psalms 1 and God delivered him. He delivered him. So whoever you are, well, whoever your child is, you must pray this. If it's you, you must pray this. Oh Lord, in your great mercy towards me. In your great mercy towards our children or those who are going to court, those who are being accused, Father, do not grant the petition of the accuser. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I contend with every evil petition in the spiritual realm by agents of darkness against my soul. I command this petition to fall to the ground, fall to the ground. Fall to the ground. Father, I contend with every demonic spirit, every evil petition in the spiritual realm by agents of darkness against my soul. I command this petition to fall to the ground. Fall to the ground in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Father God, I believe in your word and your word is true. Father God, I thank you that you are my deliverer. You are our breakthrough, Father God. And your word says, Lord, you will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy hands. Psalms 139, verse 8. And we give God the praise this morning. We thank him for his grace. And that he will not grant the petition. Amen. Of the accuser. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King. Be blessed.